What's going on guys? It's Hubert Hockey 42 here and I'm back with another video um, and today we're bringing back more classic hockey shooting. Uh, well, we're going to be doing shooting on my homemade hockey shooting pad. I did a video previously about like five or so months ago and that video tells you guys what my shooting pad is because mine's not like a shooting pad you just go on a website and buy so I'm gonna be shooting on it to basically show you guys how it works so we're gonna head out I mean we're already outside right now but we're going to head over to my shooting area and we'll get this video started. Alright, so we made it over here to the shooting area. Here's the shooting pad. There's the net I'm going to be shooting on. It's a easy goal uh, backstop and target combo. Uh, prices can range around 159 Some of them can get up to 200 Depending on what you get, uh, there's multiple combos. You can get, you can get the three backstops. Um, you can get the side panels and the top net. You can get the corner pockets, or instead of the corner pockets, you can get the shooter tutor, where it has these are cut out from the shooter tutor, and it's just like a, it's like a goalie basically. So, yeah, that's the net we're shooting on. Uh, the shooting pad. Uh, if I can, I don't really remember the right, the same size. This is like a, like a four, four feet wide by like ten feet long. Uh, the things we're going to be shooting. Standard, uh, these are just like A and R low bounce hockey ball. Uh, like street hockey balls. Uh, there's also like these plastic ones. There's plastic ones and then there's rubber ones. Uh, these are... Uh, there's some like plastic orange pucks. Uh, rubber. And then there's your standard black ice hockey pucks. And then there's these four ounce ones. And then there's a roller street hockey puck. The sticks, you might remember if you've seen my hockey stick collection video, you got the Shearwood T10W. These are all right-handed sticks. I'm right-handed. Uh, that's the, the, Like I said, this is T10W. Uh, Bauer I3000. This is a Shearwood T10. And then you have a Shearwood 5000.
We'll have to fix that. All right, so we finally got the the top of the backstop finally back on and got it tightened to where it won't fall off again. Um, real time, it took about two hours to fix, but with the help of great camera freezing and video stop recording, uh, to you guys, it's probably like two seconds. So now we'll continue back with more shooting. Never mind. And take two. Now the other side came off. Take three.
All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button and comment down below if you want to see more shooting videos. Uh, and obviously, don't comment down below uh, saying that the easy goal is trash. It kept breaking a lot. I just didn't have my net, the top net tightened all the way. So obviously, it, that's why it kept falling apart. Uh, but I got it now. I had to tie a tighter knot, and now it should stay. If you guys do want to get one of these nets yourself, you could comment that down below asking me where you could get it, or you just go on Google and just type in Easy Goal Backstop and Target Combo. Uh, if you want to know what my shooting pad is, go check out my video. It's titled Homemade Hockey Shooting Pad uh, or Shooting on My Homemade sh uh, Homemade Shooting sh Shooting on My Homemade Shooting Pad, and it will give you more details of what it is. I gave you some details in this video. Like I said, it's a four by ten feet board. If you want that exact size. And, uh, yeah, the sticks I was using, if you want to check those out, some of them I got them off of Ice Warehouse, some I got at Pure Hockey, uh, if you want Pure, ha uh, Pure Hockey merchandise, you go on their website. This video is not sponsored by Pure Hockey or Easy Goal or anything, um, but on behalf of that, this is Hubert Hockey 42. Signing off, guys. Peace out.